everybody, and I'll be leading the session today. And, um, you know, we've been doing a lot of talking about um, our website, and we always tell you to come visit our website and do stuff. So I thought we'd take some time today to see how do we actually do that. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here and get started with some things here. Let me see. So, um, why would you want to set up an account on tfasnow.com? There's actually, I have four reasons. I want to see what you guys can come up with. I want to buy a product. Okay, that is a good one. I want to attend a webinar. Yep. I want to I... access all the things that I have purchased in the past. Okay, you want to access, oh, I didn't write, ooh, I got a new one, five, I didn't think about Yay. that. <laughs> I would, um, if you get our online dementia journal, you can actually post a comment or a response. Okay, um, so you guys came up with even more than I had, because I also said about connecting resources. To get I, help, to yeah. get help with an issue. Yes, and getting help, right. Absolutely. So good. You guys came up with more than I had, which is good. So obviously we all know and access the website for different reasons. Um, but one of the main things we need to do in order to do anything on our website is create an account, right? So um, there's basically two ways to do that. So that's what I put here on the screen, right? So um, the one on the left, is when you want to attend an event and you haven't created an account yet you notice here it says login or register to purchase and then we have the option over here about just creating an account and i would say if you've never created an account i'm mean, actually i'm going to ask carrie if we've never created an account which one do you think is easier mm, i think it's easier to create the account before you make your purchase yeah, thank you. Yeah, I would really encourage people to do it this way. Um, just because there's a lot of extra steps when you want to do it in this other way. And if you're planning to do stuff with us, why don't you just create an account with us anyway, right? It doesn't take that long, a few seconds. Um, but I also find that some people make a little, some mistakes when they're creating accounts. Um, so I'm going to show you screen and I want you to tell me what do you see as wrong with these emails? Anybody notice anything? You got some typos there. Yeah. And Gmail is not well, org, it's dot com. Yeah, yeah right. Yahoo thing. Yahoo. Yeah. Yahoo. Um so why do you think I brought this point up? Oh, is that the most common error people make? Oh, yeah, it is. Yes. And what I will tell you is that if you make a mistake on your email, it's going to take you probably a day or two so we can fix it. Because the email is the unique character, character, the unique thing that our system uses. So you can only have one email account for connecting with us. Um, and I'm the person who fixes those. So, um, just so you know, but we see a lot of them. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Mary and Mary is the one who sends them to me. So that's why I thought I would put a couple of examples. So I just say when you're creating your account, if you would just double check that your email is correct, it will save us all a lot of time. Um, so that's just an example of something. <laughs> and save them a lot of frustration. And save you, yes time and frustration because if you do it right the first time you get an email that says set your password and you're ready to go so it can take as little time as probably two minutes to set up an account or as long as two days depending on what happens with us um, and we ask that you be patient with us on those kinds of things right um, so the next thing I brought up here on the screen is some other places where people sometimes get confused or see things that they don't quite understand. So um, on, on the left-hand side of the screen, what do you guys see here that looks a little odd? User notes? Yeah, user notes. That's if you want to send us some information about yourself, you can put some notes in there. What else do you see? The caption. 
recapta, yeah. And I know a lot of people. Well, what do you, how do you guys feel about recapta? Can be different. I don't know what it is. Careful. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, I admit I have trouble reading them sometimes. I might change the image one or two times. <laughs> oh, what's really cool is that this has a twofer here. You guys don't know what what recapture is. This is a way to make sure the computer knows that it's a person and not like a bot or something trying to create an account. And the other thing is that image is actually pieces of data that have been digitized for you know digitizing books to take books from you know just books into digitizing this is an international program that when you when you guys type in those characters it then goes to the company that digitizes the books and makes the corrections so it was something that was started by two guys from um i don't remember where <laughs> but they were in college they were they were just thinking about something that came up with it and now it's around the world. And so we are all part of digitizing our world's book collection by using CAPTCHA. So I actually sometimes change the, do one and then change the image again, just so I can do another one. Cause I feel like I'm giving back to society that way. So I never knew that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It comes back to past. <laughs> so anyway, when you created your account, that first screen where we went in and got our email, right? Did you notice maybe this time I got my email, right? Um, I could put some notes in there and then I do recaptcha and then I'm ready to go. The, and so then what happens is you get a message that says reset your password and then it comes in and says it's been reset and you're ready to log in. Okay, so do you guys have any questions on that? So if they find out that they've really screwed up their email or they suspect now after watching this that they really might have done that, mm -hmm. how should they get a hold of us? I'm going to show the phone number in a little bit, uh, but that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show um, some other kinds of now logins and creating accounts are a big issue, right? And what we need to have you connect with us, but other places where we have people call us with problems, I thought I'd throw a couple of those up here. Okay. So this is now you've decided you want to register for an event and where a lot of people get stuck is in that little circle that I put here that sometimes people don't see. There's a zero here normally when you come into this screen and you have to at least select one in order to purchase this event. So some people don't see that. And often also what happens is sometimes it's above the pole or above the line so you have to scroll back down. So just some weird Shelly, the the good news is, I don't mean to interrupt, is I just registered for two of these webinars and they now have a one Yay. versus a zero. Oh, they updated it. They fixed it for us. Yes. Amazing. Isn't yeah. that great? Because oh. even I miss that. So absolutely. It's awesome. But yeah. anyway, just if you have a trouble, if you're having trouble when you look at an event, sometimes that's what the problem is. But I guess we fixed that. Yay. Yeah, we're going through systematically trying to catch all of them that we missed. That's super. Which is many, many. <laughs> yeah, we have lot, as, as you know, we have lots and lots of virtual events now. And so there are many, many records that we have to go in and update, but good. But just remember that's required. Okay. Yes. And then um, some other things that I see where people have trouble is when they've gone into, they've looked at their shopping cart and they go in to finish their purchase. The customer details come up first, but there's this little button down here that says copy from billing data details. And if you click that, it automatically fills in your name and email address for the event. So you don't have to type in additional information. And then you can just hit continue to check out and you get registered. So here's what happens. <laughs> you put an order in, you get a confirmation email. When it's an event, you also get a separate email. If I am I right, folks, you get a separate email with a Zoom link. And Beth, here's where you were asking me earlier. Question: Call this 800 number, or send an email to info at tpasnow.com. Okay. 
And the real live person they get on that is a real live Mary or a real live you, right? Yeah. Well, the phone, it, oh, yeah. And it'll eventually you leave a message, maybe. Yep. Well, you might leave a message and then you get it to me. Oh, um, perfect. And we'll, we'll, we'll get them fixed up pretty quickly. They're real live pack people is the idea. Which is yeah, cool. it is. Yeah. So you guys had mentioned some other things that you do on the website. Um, and I, and I didn't anticipate everything. So one of the things I thought about was finding resources. And I know that Alejandro has shown this on other days, well, or somebody else has shown this, but just as a reminder, you just want to go to our main page, click on the resources tab up at the top, and you'll get to this page to get a lot of resources. And then the other one I wanted, which I know Alejandro showed, was what if you're looking for somebody in the community, in the PAC community outside, right, near, or near your home, um, this is an area that you can go to on our website. So it's under the about section, about theme, and you type in your zip code and you'll get a list of people. I just decided not to use the live website during our time today because I'm never sure how it's going to respond. So, <laughs> so I don't know if anybody has questions or comments or anything at this point. Um, it was just a quick little how to. I do have a quick question. I just want to double check because as a PAC team member, I've always had a website menu and all this stuff is open for me already if i even if it's a free event i still need a username to yes. be able to, yeah okay yeah if you want to do anything attend anything with us you have to create this account first and then you could but now you've created the account anything you do with us in the future is easy um because hold on i'll share one more screen um when you go to the website and you are logged in, it will tell you you're logged in because it says log out. <laughs> That's how you know you're there. Um, and then you can um, get back to a lot of your information through this thing called the member menu and your dashboard. So let's see how long it takes to bring my dashboard up. Ah, there we go. And I'm having to move people's heads. So the dashboard is where you can go back to find anything if you buy any products, online products, right? And if you want to look at your order history, you can do it through here as well. Or if you buy a video or yep. an online, you know, a lot of people ask about the webinars that are recorded. Right. And, and, you know, they go into either your online videos, I think is where it goes. Yeah. And then you have your courses that you purchase. Right. And that's where you can see all of my videos. I have lots of videos on my web, on my, my members. You know, Shelly and Mary, that's a really good point because I know I'm the type of person that when I purchase something online, I'm always going in as a guest. I generally, I'm not one of those people that makes accounts everywhere. It is funny though, with the number of stuff I've heard from learners, I've heard again and again that listening to pack stuff, getting a you know talk from Tipa or watching a video from Tipa is like drinking through a fire hose. Right. The number right. one request we get is, can I view this again? Watch it again. Right. Yeah. Right. And that was the other thing we've been telling you guys about the Tipa clip, the subscription service. That's also your member menu is where you're going to watch all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have a new tip for you that I learned earlier today. Okay. Go up under the home tab, go to the home page. Okay. We have something new. Okay. I found out this afternoon and it's great. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> See, this is why, okay, yes, ma'am. Made for you. Have you been there yet? I have been, but this is a new page, right? This is an awesome page that directs you depending on you as if you're looking for something specific you've got your friends and family you've got people living with dementia professionals organizations all in one spot yep. even if you want to talk right so you just click here and we do have chat so there's a lot of ways that you can connect with us with the mm -hmm. past team on our website but also through your community so um, that's why we wanted to spend a little bit of time showing you so you can come and look at it and maybe not be totally overwhelmed by everything that we have on this website. 
Shelly, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. On Facebook, somebody was asking a, a question about how can they help a patient declutter? To get an answer or assistance with that, could is there some place on the website that they can go to? All right, I'm going to ask the team, where do you think we would want to send that person? I think I saw a red telephone somewhere down that page. Yes, you did. <laughs> right here. There you go. Yeah. You can sign up to get a free consultation with that team person. So it's a 30 minute consultation. How would they, I'm wondering as well, would maybe going to our website and clicking on chat mm -hmm. or maybe going to the red? You yep. think chat would also just be a, a good place? Well, sure, absolutely. Chat is okay. live talking to a person when we're there. We're not here 24 seven, but we will get back in touch with you within a day. Absolutely. There's lots of ways to connect with us through our website, but that's another great way would be to join Ask TIPA Anything and mm -hmm. ask the expert, you know, what would be the best way. But right. I think the most time you would probably receive would be the 30 minute mm -hmm. consultation. Right. And just FYI on that consultation, we that it's not an immediate. It'll take us a day or two to get it scheduled and then we'll talk. So if you're in a crisis, that's not what you want to do is call us on that chat. You might want to chat with us. Sorry, you don't want to call us for a consult when you're in a, in a crisis. But check with our chat. Okay, so that's uh, lots of different information for today and gave us a lot of ideas and hopefully the folks on Facebook will come and check us out and come back and see us tomorrow. That's on deck for tomorrow, right? Yay. Yep. Thanks for spending time with us today. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us spread Teeps' positive approach message around the world. And don't forget to click the bell to get notified when new videos are posted.